Hey everybody, this is Barry Knight. Welcome to my desktop. As you will see, there is a lot of crap going on here, but try not to focus on all that shit and just focus on this tutorial. I know I last time I said I would be the last tutorial or one of the last tutorials, but I found out there's something more I can add to the series of tutorials, so strap yourselves in. Let's get it going. So, first things first, open your mod folder. As you can see, I already have a shortcut to my mod folder so if you guys mod the same folder a lot like I do just you know let's see just right click create create a shortcut and then just throw that on your desktop and you won't have to you won't have to go through Windows program files say uh, Medieval 2 or Steam or whatever it's a lot faster saves your finger from dying of just Ambidexterity is gonna be long. Your longevity for fingers not getting arthritis will be extended greatly. Just trust me on that. All right. So what I wanted to talk to you guys first about is the UI folder in particular. So this is where we usually put a lot of our generals. We put custom portraits. You know, you add whatever the hell general you name, and you give them the little file that has all three of these little you know, portrait dead, old, young, stuff like that. Alright, so, what I'm going to talk to you guys about today is the Eastern European, the Middle Eastern, Euro Middle Eastern, Northern European, and the Southern European folders. Okay, so in here, you guys could find your general pictures. If you add, you can add folders to make your own generals or custom, custom portraits for the generated random generals that the game gives you. So, if you got a guy named uh, Sandor, another guy named Sandor Clegane, for instance, the game gives him a you know a decent looking picture. But if you wanted to give him something better than the regular vanilla crap, that looks it just looks so boring. So what you can do is add a portraits folder, and then within that folder. Well, there may already be a portraits folder depending on the mod, but within that folder you should add another portraits folder, and I don't know why there's a young... Oh, that's for priests. <laughs> and there's also for family too, it's daughter, son, stuff like that. But otherwise you put another folder in here named portraits, and then within that folder you put a folder named old and young. Obviously, you can see for yourselves. Within that folder... Pretty straightforward. Generals. And within that folder, there's just one fucking file. I don't know why. Oh, that's because I haven't done this one yet. So, what I'm going to show you guys is just basically how to do this very quickly and efficiently. What you're going to need to do is have a program like GIMP. It's basically just like the tutorial I showed you guys on how to make your own custom characters. It's just the custom character bit. But if you don't know, have your ears peeled for this so we have a picture here that I got off the internet I just randomly found this guy and I thought hey that scar be a good general face so what you want to do is usually just go for the face and if you really like the picture and I'm guilty I put a few pictures in that were a little too big meaning that they wouldn't you wouldn't be able to see the facial of the character very well so anyways the width will be 69 and the height will be 96 so scale that and what you want to do is export that sorry not that export that as you know just desktop and then I don't even know how many pictures I had but usually what you want to do is you want to start with three digits so it would be 000.tga enter enter and then you want to make another copy But we will rename this because otherwise the computer will get pissy with us. So we can close out of that. Discard changes, whatever the hell you want to do. So this is the thing. <clears throat> excuse me. This is the thing that I like to do. Is I make a separate file of the old and young portraits in case I mess up the portraits file which has old and young. You know, it's it's kind of I don't know why I do this, but whatever. So anyways, this these are all the portraits that I have done. 0 to 0 
Make sure they're all TGA files, otherwise the game will not add all of your custom generals. All right. So we're not going to do that in those two to, two other files. So what we're going to do is add the general file. We're going to rename this. And it doesn't really make a difference if you don't remember how many you have. So, you know, if I rename this 56, you know, it's 56. It's fine. You know, if it's if it's 0, 01 or 0, 01 1 or whatever, like this one, as long as it corresponds with the other one, that's fine. And you only need two copies for the young and the old folders. Okay? So then you can just copy and paste this folder. Go up here. Go into this file. I know this file is not even updated, so I'm going to update it. Just copy. Control V. Replace the files in the destination. Yes. So now they will be updated. And we have all 56 of our freaking general faces. All right, so what you want to do, if you want to change the the factions, you know, the differences in their portraits, like if you want to have 25 for Middle Eastern and 25 for Northern, you can do that. You can, you can do that on your own time. I'm not really going to give a shit about that because that's getting a little too far into the detail. I just thought that, hey, you guys want to know this? These are the basics. You're going to get the basics. So if you want to make it short, sweet, and simple, just give every single faction all of them. And I did not update this one yet either. <laughs> so just copy, control V, paste over that. Make sure all of your factions are good to go. I'm just going to control V because, I mean, I just added one more file. And we're missing 46 files anyways. And, uh, yeah, we need one more. So basically, this will just make all of your generals on the map have a custom face. So you won't just be fighting Vanilla George or Vanilla Bob. You'll be fighting Vanilla... <laughs> well, you'll be fighting them still vanilla-wise, but it's like, oh, they look cooler. Uh, do you want to transfer? Yes. Try that again, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Lols and latest. Okay, we're pretty much good on this account. So that's basically what I wanted to show you for that part. I'll show you guys what that looks like in game so you'll see that it actually does work. You just need to make sure that it's under these separate uh, cultures for the factions. So, on to the next part. We're going to be going into the special file called World Maps Campaign. Imperial campaign and the special one called desk strat. Ooh, big scary stuff. Ooh, scary. So what we want to do is, uh, let's say, I don't know. Do we? I don't really want to add another general to House Baratheon right now because I gave them like a shit ton. But I, you know what? You know what? Let's let's just, you know, actually let's add something to Stark. That'd be kind of cool. So. Here's the Starks, you know, blah, 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 so, blah, 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 lots of crap, lots of crap, come on, come on, come on, come on, oh, whatever, just, okay, all right, now we find the family part that I'm looking for, so, what I've figured out is that you don't really need the family tree to extend out to make your own generals custom characters as family members. At first I just wanted to do this to add my custom characters to make them family members, to make them, you know, and have them in the tree to, you know, look at them because they're cool. But what you want to do if you want to give the other factions, <clears throat> the Brathians, because <clears throat> they suck under the AI. Excuse me, sorry, I didn't, I didn't know I had a bad cough like that. Anyways, if you want to give them a, another line of family, say, like another line of Cleganes, or in this case for the Starks, you want to give them another line of Forrester, Foresters, or Car Starks. As you can see, I added the Forester line because of the new Telltale, Telltale game for the Game of Thrones. I thought it'd be kind of cool to add them in there. I didn't add everybody because I wanted them to have their own 
you know, children. So based on what the name files are, we'll have to see how good that goes. That could be a crash or a burn. But anyways, what I would do and what you can do is just, well, you can just add off of what you think you know, but what's the better idea is to go back to data, go back to, go into text, go into the names text, find out the, oh no, that's not the right one. That's expanded, oops, my bad. Go into disks, desk names, find the faction that you're planning to mod under. Scotland. Now find a name that you like, say, um, we'll say Darren, just for the hell of it. Darren! Get out of here, we don't like you. So we're going to say Darren uh, Sirwine. And he's married to uh, this, um, um, Ali's, Ali's Sirwine. Why not? <laughs> and then just end it there. But if you want, you can just add more family members to them. Like you can add children like I did with Asher Forrester and Roderick Forrester. But in this case, you have to make sure that you add their names if you want to make them in your custom family. It goes along with the custom generals and whatnot. I've already explained this. Just go see the other tutorial if you don't know how to do it. All right. Okay, so Darren Sirwine, Alice Sirwine, you know, they're in the family, as we can see so far. So add a character record for the woman, Alice Sirwine, female, age, uh, let's just say 20, 28, alive, never a leader. Okay, so, so far so good, alright? Oh, spelling mistake, I see it. So we got Darren Sirwine, we need to add him back up here, so we'll just say... Hmm. Actually, I want to copy and paste Eddard's coordinates. Yeah, we'll just copy and paste Eddard's coordinates in a second here. So we just really need the bodyguard. <clears throat> and there we go. Change your name, blah, blah, blah. Stuff we've seen before. Darren Sirwine. Portrait. We're not even going to add one because I'm kind of feeling lazy at this point. You guys don't even have any clue how many. Actually, now you do, but I've added pff, at least 15 to 20 custom portraits, like Foresters. 15 to 20 plus the 56 that I've done. So I'm just about portraited out. So don't even give me crap, okay? I will attack you, and I will have no remorse. None. He's not going to be that experienced. We'll give him a little bit, just because just we're nice, you know? Why not? And then we'll just say, like, 207. You know, just to make sure that your, your coordinates are off. Whenever... Whenever you're adding a character, a custom character or whatever, even if it's just a random general, make sure the coordinates are right. If they make the general spawn in like a random forest or over a lake, the game may go and may accept that. It might start. I know it started for me when I tried putting princesses in the game. <laughs> These princesses would be across the frickin' sea for no reason. And I couldn't tell you why. Make sure the coordinates are right in the right spot. Okay, no crash to desktops today, people. Do it before you start modding. Because if you just try doing it off the cuff like this, it's not going to work. But I didn't really plan on doing this video until I did it. So that is the way to do it. All right, so now that you have that done, I will show you guys what it looks like within the game after we of course save the frickin file <laughs> that might stump us a little bit eh? alright see you guys in a second okay everybody welcome to the campaign map as you can see we got pretty damn lucky Darren is now on the family well he's in the family he's not on the family tree but he's also on the map which counts 
as you can see also that he has a special picture for his general very cool very snazzy and just to hammer this home he is not on the family tree but yet he is a member and just to kind of illustrate the new general skins we have a clay sirwine very nice general general face very good and this is the one that we added just recently within this video I didn't do any changes off camera I literally just came in the game so that's his face barely tell his scars there but it still looks pretty cool with the scar so let's see another example is Harry and Karstark yeah I think yeah yeah I'm not sure if that's one that I put in but it looks pretty good oh yeah yeah that's definitely one I put in with the white hood <laughs> Hothor Horsbane Yep, that's the one I put in. Not John Umbar, but Moore's Crow Food. I did put that in. That is mine. Or the one, the Internet's. It's the Internet's picture that I have commandeered. <laughs> Let's see, there's another one. There's a Greyjoy right here I can look at. This is one of my favorite ones. It's still really cool. And let's see, do we have another one over here? Oh, there's another one. Heron Botley. That's a good picture. Like that one. Uh, we could do Army Lork. There you go. So, that's pretty much all I've got to show you guys right now for the tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you guys have any special general faces that you would like to see in the playthrough I'm about to do of this mod, or I mean, I should say sub mod. You know, throw a picture down in the description. I will be more than likely to throw it in just for shits and giggles because I can. And uh, if you guys have any, like, family members I should add to any of the other factions to make them live a little longer, I will also do that. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to know how to make your own island in the future, I will be eventually adding that as a tutorial. No promises for sure, but most likely I will get to it eventually. There he is again. Ah. Alright, thanks for watching everybody, and you have yourselves a lovely rest of your day, night, or morning. Bear night out. I just want to play the campaign. I'm really just getting that kind of campaign sickness now. Like, I want to play.